Hey, hello, how you doing? My name is Teja Avani and welcome to Teja's Wonderland. Today is part one of me transforming into my high fashion version and super extra version of The Little Mermaid, aka, as we know, our girl Ariel. So, today I'll be sewing the corset bodysuit for as the base for the costume. It's the typical Roxy bodysuit pattern that I use. It's just a tiny bit different. I explain it in the prep video for this whole project because I had to tweak the pattern a little bit because I wanted seashell cups for the bodysuit. It's based off of the cartoon aerial, not the live action aerial, even though Homegirl Slate she did her thing i love the movie my niece loved the movie it was just it was great it was great so but yeah for childhood nostalgia inner child feelings i'm doing the cartoon ariel so if you'd like to see how i made this corseted bodysuit inspired by ariel then please keep on watching until the end of this video so this is the pattern that I'm using for this project. I explained it in my original um, prep video for this project and also on my Patreon. It's a Roxy body suit, but I altered it a little bit. So that's the pattern that I'm using. Out, and this is the seashell cut pattern and I'll be cutting out all the different fabrics and there's a base pattern and a fashion fabric layer pattern for the bodysuit and for the cups. All right, so this is the first like vlog that I'm ever doing that's like legit legit. I'm sorry, I'm tapping my face because I actually put a little bit of makeup on just to look somewhat decent even though I realize in this lighting y'all can't tell. Y'all can't tell the difference. So I'm gonna show y'all what I just did um, which is pretty much like I said I cut out everything uh, out of the appropriate fabrics and then I also um, fusible interface the appropriate fabrics as well. So let me show you which ones I did. So I did of course the blue taffeta Ta -da. so it's like a lot more like stiff and as you see with the lines I drew in the stitch lines just to make sure that it's as accurate as possible for the taffeta and the canvas I did the same thing too um just to make sure it's as accurate as possible I didn't do it to the lining because just drawing on this lining will be annoying as hell <laughs> the fabric fashion fabric layer for the uh, shell cup as well and then I'll show y'all how I'm going to construct all of these um, seashell bra cups all right so I got all the pieces together oh shit actually hold on <laughs> all right so I got all the pieces together it's like yes four layers wow okay and we'll pin them pretty much pin and sew in the exact same way so I'll do it on the satin fabric first so this is what it looks like once everything is pinned together and so now or laid out together there are notches up here that i made and so i'm just gonna align them notch to notch and pin all the way down right sides together so this is what it looks like pinned and then you'll just sew all the way down here a quarter of an inch and then uh, i'll come back and pin the other side All right, so now I'm just cutting the seam allowance in half and I will finish it with a zigzag stitch just to reinforce it a little bit. Just do the same thing for the other side. So this is what it's looking like right now. All right, so this is what the cup looks like once it's all sewn together for the most part. And so this is the shell version. So it has an extra half an inch seam allowance. Same thing for the um, lining layer and then the canvas and the bra foam ones uh, are just true to size. So again, I will see y'all once everything is sewn together. All right, so I'm gonna show you how I'm doing the uh, cut and sew bra foam because it's a little bit different. All right, so I'm going to clip it the exact same way, but I'm just gonna show you how I'm gonna sew it. Then I'm going to sew from the notch down at a um, eighth of an inch instead of a quarter of an inch. I'm not gonna cut the seam allowance. I am just going to um, go straight stitch first and then a zigzag stitch afterwards. This is not typically how you sew um, bra foam. It's very, very different. Um, but I um, 
just choose to do it this way just because it's easier for me just right here right now so same thing boop So I sewed all the cups from all of the different fabrics. So I sewed the bra foam layer, the lining layer, the fashion fabric layer, and the structure layer. And so I have pairs of each way you just see one in this clip. So my neighbors are playing music, so just like don't mind them. <laughs> so I, in order to assemble the bra cups, I am going to take the canvas layer and a bra foam layer, and I'm just gonna place one, the canvas layer on top and try to align them as best as possible like that and pin across or pin all the way around and um, stay stitch them in place all right so this is what it looks like and so i'm just gonna sew all the way around just like that just to keep and like combine these two in place All right, and then I have the other two layers of the cups. I have the fashion fabric layer and the um, bronze lining layer, and we'll be combining those two together to act as the shell layer. So, boom, and boom. All right, I'm going to align notches together. I really didn't um, really take note of the notches as I really should have, but we're here now, cups together along the edge all right so i finally pinned them correctly <laughs> so i pinned all the way around i had to work on matching it up because i think i sewed it differently i am so sorry for the noise i'm doing laundry and the washing machine is like right there but um i pinned it from here where the notch is all the way up like actually a little bit past the notch like a half an inch just to make sure that it covers enough but i'm gonna pin from here all the way around Boop. Boop. All right. This one I had to like maneuver a little bit. Uh, all the way to here again, a little bit down. This is about two inches down because I really want to make sure that you cannot see any of the leftover um, seam allowance that um, you need in order to attach the cup to the bodysuit. So I did that for both of them. So I'm going to sew at a quarter inch from those two distances, cut the seam allowance down in half and zigzag stitch it down. All right, I finally fixed it. So this is what the cup looks like. It's still not the shape and the look I want it to have, but this is as best as I'm gonna do today for the first time of me fully constructing the cup because I've done canvas and foam versions of the cup as you can see here and it looks fine but uh dealing with all those layers of fabric i have not done so this is my first time doing it so this is the best that i'm going to do it so what i did i did the same method but what i did is clipped all of the seam cut it down also in half as well just to add a little bit more mobility and space so this is what it looks like on the inside still not as perfect as I want it to be but this is just what we got going on um and so what I did is I pinned the bottom once I adjusted everything and like the foam is in there um I forgot yeah I forgot I like literally had to figure this out the foam structure layer is in this cup right here so that's why it's not floppy and so I slipped it in there adjusted it as best as possible I literally spent 10 minutes using the wrong structure cup <laughs> because like the front and the back of the cup look very very similar and so what i like to do is take the structure layer put it in the cup pretty much like a pillow and then you kind of just adjust and make sure that the corners are set in and the middle is set in and you just kind of pull and tug until every little scallop is in its right place and then um i just align the bottom edges of it i'll just pin at the bottom and line the lining and the um fashion fabric layer together align it and pin it all the way around and then i will baste 
on the sewing machine so this is the largest stitch on your sewing machine um a quarter like a quarter inch away from the raw edge so after i pretty much sewed the cups together here what i'm doing is i'm using a um heat erasable marker and i'm drawing in just the top stitching on the seam lines in order to give that clamshell cup shape and so i'm just doing that real quick with just each dip of the scallop just drawing a little line to connect it to the bottom of the cup and then i'm just um sewing it i would should top stitch it um but i'm not <laughs> i'm stitching right on top of those lines um with the regular straight stitch And then here, I'm just ironing the back of the cups just to get rid of the extra ink. So these are what the cups look like once I'm all set and done. It was very hard to do. Um, they, they gave me a run for my money. They still aren't as good as I want them to be. But like I said, this was the first time I was making it. So I will improve the pattern and silhouette over time. But this is what I'm working with for this project. So I'm going to put these cups aside and go back to working on the bodysuits. I also um, completely pinned all of the bodysuit patterns. So as you see, all the way pinned. Uh, and I did that for all three layers. So I'm going to also t take that to the sewing machine and sew at this line, which is about five eighths of an inch. And I just want to show y'all, this is the structure layer pinned together and the lining layer all pinned together. And I'll sew them the exact same way on the sewing machine. Alright, so this is what the structure layer looks like. I did all the top stitching and of course finished all the seams and all that stuff. So now I am going to flip this over move and everything out the way. But flip it over and work on the boning channels. So I'm gonna do the boning channels first and then do the um waist tape. I'm gonna go over this quickly because I did it in the other two videos that I'll link down below, but I'm just using my core uh an inch and a quarter cotton twill tape for my boning channels and I'm just placing them um, using the boning guide that I created that will also be on my patreon as well um, if you want any reference to that but yeah and I'm just like pinning all of the boning channels in place first and then I will uh, put in the waist tape and then pin, uh, sew all of the boning channels down Oh, and then here I'm using a yellow like grow grain ribbon um, because I just want a quarter inch boning on the back. And so I wanted something that would fit that better. So here I'm pinning the waist tape down and I'll take this to the sewing machine. So this is a better shot of what it all looks once everything's pinned together. And it will be a nightmare sewing it all down on the sewing machine and you might get pricked or, you know, scratched or whatever, but it is worth it. So I'm um, taking that. Pray for me. Uh, give me light and love as I sew all this down. It takes forever to do. Ten years later. All right, so this is what the bodysuit looks like now that I've sewn all the boning channels down. So now I'm going to combine all three layers together. So first I'm going to place the lining down wrong side up, then the structure layer right side up, and then the uh, fashion fabric layer right side up. So it's pretty much the same order of what I want the uh, finished bodysuit to look like. I'm clipping uh, the top of the bodysuit all together, all three layers, and I'll sew. So I basted everything. I don't know if y'all can see. Let me turn the brightness down. There you go. I basted all along the front. Now this part was a little weird because I sewed at different notches for each layer. So it's not, it's not as neat as I want it to be. This is what it looks like on the inside. It's really weird. Again, first time of me like doing this as well. So I'm just learning as I go. It's one of those projects. Okay, I will probably sew from this side only because I really care about what it looks like on this side. So I'll probably sew a little bit less than a, a quarter of an inch and then again 
and an eighth of an inch to really secure it in place. And then I'll take the basting out and then I'll figure out what to do with this. Let me zoom out. Hold on. Sorry, y'all. <sighs> so many things to man. Okay, zooming out. Moving this down a little bit. This is what the corset bodysuit looks right now. I got to undo all the basting and stuff like that. But in the meantime, because I was just playing ooh, around with it and now it wants to squeeze out of it. But I was playing around with it, but I figured that I could use this excess seam allowance here just to kind of have the V do its thing right here and I'm just gonna like whip stitch it in place a little bit lower only because we need some seam allowance for the cups and maybe um, do the whip stitches first and then place some ribbon on top of it to like further secure it down and call it a day because I don't have time to do this all the way correctly right now and it's a pro it's my project so I don't mind doing it and I will still make it look good but that's just kind of the plan I'm going with right now. So. Y'all, I was right in the middle of doing this shit. And I realized that I wasn't recording. Anyway, so, okay, so I'm just going to hand sew this. So I'm just hand sewing the little uh, seam allowance clothes uh, with whip stitches or loop stitches uh, all the way down the V. And I do, when I get to like the metal part that's not covered, I just go uh, along with whip stitches along oh, just around the metal part and I'm sewing it into the lining as well um, but not on the fashion fabric layer so you don't see it on the outside um, and then I realized once I was done doing it that I realized it was still moving a little bit and I want the V uh, separator to be a little bit more uh, structured obviously because that's the whole point and so um, after I finished doing the whip stitches just to sew down the seam allowance what I did is did a little bit like of running stitches right next to the um, the actual wire itself uh, as you can see here just to secure it into uh, a more snug position and then I just knot it off again making sure that you don't see any of the thread from the fashion fabric layer all right so this is what the v shape v shape wire looks like and it's pretty secure in there especially since i put some stitches in to keep the wire like in place so this is what it looks like it doesn't look too bad i'm actually not horrified at my hand stitching um i still might put a ribbon over it and make it look a little bit better but um that will be later because i want to put in the cups first and just get through that part and once i sew the cups on um, right before I do the underwire, if I still want to add the ribbon just to cover it up, then I will. Forgot to show y'all what it looks like in the front. Ta-da! This is what it looks like in the front. So I think for the bias binding, I'm cutting an inch and a quarter wide piece of fashion fabric. Uh, and I'm going to use that just to finish the raw edges. Yeah, bias binding these parts anyway. Right sides together, of course. So I'm not doing any excess on the inner side because um the cup is gonna finish that I'm just gonna do it on the outer so um what i'm first going to do is so at i believe it's either a quarter no it's definitely a half an inch on the wrong side then flip the bias binding over by double folding it so you don't see raw edges on the other side um and then i'm going to top stitch uh, the bias binding on top on the fashion fabric side uh, to finish it off. And then with the little excess tabs, I'm just going to fold it in and hand tack it down with some hand stitches. All right, so I have only one seashell cup because I made two of the same cup as I was redoing this cup. Again, I, I, I made the wrong side and I'm embarrassed. I was cutting corners. I did it check, but I made the wrong side. So I have to remake this cup for a third time. And you can even tell like this cup just looks way better than this cup. I don't know why there's such a big difference. It's literally the same materials and made the same way, but I'm going to do this shit for the last time. <laughs> and hopefully I'm going to make two mirrored versions. So if I make one by accident, I have another one that I can use. So I'm going to do this shit one more time. But in the meantime, I'm just going to show y'all how to put the seashell cup onto the bodysuit first before I go and remake this. And then I can do all that off camera. All right. So 
um this is what the binding looks like by the way i don't know if y'all saw but uh this is the inside and this is the outside of the cup and it goes right in here um how come ever oh actually it like literally is like this boom like that so what i'm going to do is clip the um bra cup into the um right side together this way and also there's usually a notch there's a notch i put right here so the middle of this part should hit the notch right there pretty much so it should be relatively like that so i'm just gonna go around here and baste it real quick um and then we're gonna sew it on the sewing machine at a quarter of an inch all right so um now i've sewn this part down what i'm going to do is just baste the seam allowance of it downwards um because we need it to lay as flat as possible so that we can add the um bra wire channeling this is gonna be hard so i'm using whip stitches for it all right so this is what it looks like once i am done hand stitching it down and so what i decided to do was also hand sew the bra wire channeling onto it so i'm gonna hand sew the top of it and then flip it over and then top stitch the um around the shell and then see how that looks. And then if I need to uh, hand stitch the bottom, then I will. And that's how I'm going to do it. This is what it looks like. Ta -da. So I am going to go and top stitch on the front just to kind of secure the cup in place and then um hopefully it can secure down this flap if not i'll just whip stitch at the bottom so it's catch stitch at the top and i'll probably whip stitch at the bottom all right so this is what the cup looks like once everything is said and done as you see when i top stitch it it kind of went over and then it didn't so i had to do a uh, whip stitch or a loop stitch um, for the rest of the way which I actually like the loop stitch better hey, oh this is the top stitching as well all right hey y'all I am trying to figure out this angle situation <laughs> am I am I in center I don't know you can kind of see my dog collection that's cute anyway <laughs> so lots of things have happened um, so I finished the um bra wire channeling i keep forgetting the names itself i finished the bra wire channeling i tried the bra wires that i had because i got two because i figured i need bigger ones because i measured them out and so i like followed the measurement of how much i needed for the wire i bought two sizes both of them way too big the typical one that i use for the roxy bodysuit which is like the playboy one i did even that um, was too big so I had to buy two more so they should be here tomorrow um, if not like latest two days um, so I'm going to continue on because all I got to do here is just put in the wire and then just hand tack the ends of it anyway so I'm going to continue on doing the rest of the regular steps so I'm going to go put in the boning channels I'm going to unpin Okay, so this is what it looks like from the front. It's giving. It's giving. It's so freaking cute. Look at it. Ah! <laughs> it's so freaking cute. Okay, it's like I am obsessed with it more and more. Of course, this is my first time making it, so um, there are learning curves and things I could do better. Um, but I really like it. I really, really like it. But hopefully you get to see this soon because the world premiere of The Little Mermaid just happened yesterday yesterday or the day before one or two so um it's all lining up and so <laughs> if i could be like invited last minute to go to a premiere somewhere wearing this this would be great i'll be very happy i 
I wouldn't be dressed appropriately if I'm going to be around children, though. So maybe like like one strictly for adults that are kids at heart. <laughs> so anyway, I'm very happy with this. So I'm going to go do all that. I'll show y'all, but it's not going to be in full, full, full detail because y'all have seen it before. Anyway, I've been talking for five minutes and I doubt I'll cut any of this. So <laughs> bear with me, y'all. Um, we're almost done with this bodysuit. So I'm going to take y'all to finish this bodysuit right up. You heard the lady. First things first, I'm going to put in the boning, which took forever to do but I'm doing a half an inch plastic boning for the majority of the boning channels except for the yellow boning channels I do a quarter inch uh, boning for that and so of course I um, measure out the boning cut a half an inch short curve the edges and then slip it in and then once I do all of that I'm going to take that to the sewing machine and then um, close up all of the boning channels and just sew, sew across the bottom of each one So after that's done, I am going to align the bottom, the hem part of the lining layer and the structure layer together and pin them together. So I just do that real quick. I didn't have like good angles of how I did it. So I'm just going to jump to when it's all pinned. Ta-da. And so that's pretty much it. Some of the um, lining got swallowed by me hand sewing the um, cups and stuff like that. So... I just got to do with what I got to do. So I'm going to sew, uh, hand stitch, not hand stitch. So I'm going to stay stitch the hem at a quarter of an inch just to combine the two um, layers together. This makes it way easier to then finish up hemming the bodysuit this way. So then typically after that, I will fold the excess of the fashion fabric layer hem up um, and then hand stitch it to the lining. However, I just was a mess. It just wasn't working out the way I wanted it to work out. So then I ended up cutting the um, fashion fabric layer ex excess hem to like a like five eighths of an inch and then refinishing the raw edges of that. Last resort um, is to um, completely cut it and then do like bias binding. But I was thinking about it. And I was like, that's just not going to look good. So. This is what I'm doing instead. So bear with me as I just problem solve. Cause usually the little excess fabric works. I do have to make some slits, but it works. But this time it's just, it was just really giving me issues. And I've just been getting issues this whole project. So I just want to get it done. Ta -da. So it's a lot better. Um, so I'm just gonna go and just do, I'm gonna do whip stitches, like I said, I'm not gonna do catch stitches because I saw how much whip stitches just kind of blend in a little bit. I'm also gonna do something here because it was supposed to be more space to cover these parts. And also the lining's supposed to come all the way down here, but I accidentally swallowed up some of the lining up trying to put the cups in. So, um, that's just an issue I just have to deal with. Again, I'm like speeding, so I'm not doing everything perfect because I need to get this done because I need enough, um, whatchamacallit. Wow, I need enough time for rhinestoning because there's a lot of rhinestoning and beading involved. So, uh, I'm just going to do some whip stitches and then continue on with the project. So after I hem everything, I'm going to um, lining up the three layers of each uh, center back piece. Um, and then I'm just going to stay stitch it at a quarter inch as well, just to make sure that uh, it, like all three layers are combined. So I'm sewing that real quick. And then that's what it looks like. So then now I am aligning the center backs together and I'm going to align it from a crotch up. All the way up into that zipper notch right there or not even zipper notch this is for grommets this time and then i'm going to sew at five eighths of an inch and then i'm going to fold the rest of the center back seams um back or center backs back a uh, back five eighths of an inch and then sew that down and then top stitch all the way down to the crotch uh, once you're done sewing the full back fabric if <laughs> if that makes any sense oh lord Oh, and now I'm sewing the crotches together too at a, a quarter inch. Okay, so I had to take a pause with the project because I had to buy more bra wire. I believe I already said this in earlier in the video. I bought three more sizes to make sure that I have something that works for this project. So I kind of like tried every one and I think the yellow one 
which I think is the smallest. Anyway, this one, this set right here. In this instance, the color part of the bra wire is the one that's supposed to be on the inside. I'm just gonna slip this in to the bra wire channel real quick. It's a little challenging because they're, oh, girl. Okay, there we go. Okay. So I'm just gonna close these up with some head sewing and call it a day, okay? All right, so I got both of them in, and so it gives extra shape to the cups and all that stuff. So, um, I have some things to finish up that I'll do off camera, um, but the last thing for the steps here is to add the grommets. So the first things first is that I'm going to put um, all the dots for where the grommets should go. Okay, I'm just gonna be using my heat, ooh, heat marker pen and my, um, measurement gauge and just mark all the grommets so this is the measurement i'm using it's like because every grommet is a half inch i believe wide so that i'm using like three quarters of an inch between each grommet So after I mark all the grommets, I'm taking my leather hole punch and just punching all of, of the grommet holes out. So that's what the bodysuit looks like once all the uh, holes are punched out for the grommets. And so now I'm just gonna take my gold grommets and um, set them into each of the holes. It took forever, it took like two hours to do. It took forever, I really need a grommet press, but I don't have any good footage of that. So here is the finished product. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. And that's the most sewing that I'll do for this entire project because I just want to get that base in order to add a ton, a ton, a ton of rhinestones to it. So yeah, um, this is how it came out. And it's just beautiful. It's perfect. I love the color combination. I did fuck up with the um, green. It's, she's technically green, but the aqua just looks a lot more aesthetically pleasing to me. So I'm happy I did it. And also with the rhinestones that I bought, it adds it balances the green and the aqua color really really well so anyway that is it for this video let me know if you have any questions please sign up for my patreon because with my patreon i explain step by step of how i pattern these seashell cups and how i pattern the roxy bodysuit for this specific project and um i give you a step-by-step -step breakdown as well of the construction method for everything that you saw here today um and a lot of behind the scenes content and also first the piece of um, future projects as well. Y'all will see it first before anybody else and also some exclusive tutorials as well. So please check it out. It's linked down below. Um, I'll link the actual Ariel Project um, master post down below so you can see all the goodies and all of the good stuff. Um, yeah, and all the exclusive content. So that is pretty much it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you do, please like, share, and subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so you get notified whenever I do posts. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So as always, lovelies, please love yourself, and I will see you next video. Mwah!